Was there. I wish to start manufacturing beans, baked beans. And remind boy, nobody wants your beans. I told you since your use that they are to be boiled and not baked. But we live in America now. We've got to try new things like sweet pickles. I have a bad feeling about this, but if you insist, I support you 100%. Hey there, chum. My name's L. Clarence Noble. Henry Heinz. Good to meet you, Henry. Say, I couldn't help but notice you were selling baked beans. And sweet pickles. Right, of course. Uh, sweet pickles. Uh, but look, I just wanted to say that I love that idea, and I want to partner up. You've got the deal. Great. There's only one problem. What is it? I hate that idea. I hate you, I hate your company, I hate everything you stand for. We should sell horseradish. My muscle makes horseradish. Father, I am making horseradish in the basement. What? Okay, turns out people don't really like horseradish that much. Huh? Clarence, you are fired. I am hiring my brother John and my cousin Frederick. Whatever, I'm just gonna go make ketchup. Oh no, he used to make ketchup. Why don't we just make ketchup, bro? Oh, John, you always know just what to say. Alright, the company has gained good traction. I am very committed to this business. Well, I'm actually paying you to retire early. What? Mr. Henry Hines, we need a new marketing tool, sir. Hmm. We have 57 varieties! Uh, folks, no, we definitely Please don't. Please go buy all 57! <laughs> the turn of the century has us incorporated. I shall make myself president of my own company. Sir, I'm really dedicated to the company. I was just wondering if maybe I could... Frank Harbour, you will never be promoted ever, mark my words. No, of course, sir. That's my mistake. He made salad cream! This is, this is definitely not the most exciting part. Father, I've decided I'm going to help with the Great Depression. Fantastic idea! We shall sell a soup and baby food at a cheap and accessible price. Yes! Father, a second world war is starting. It will be okay. America will not get involved and nothing bad will happen to our company. And especially not us. To the untimely death of the late Henry Hines, his son, Howard Hines, will be taking over the company as president and CEO. As president, I promise to expand the company and never ever let Frank Armour get promoted. Please welcome our new president, Frank Armour. I hate Hines. The family, that is. I would actually do anything for this company. Please welcome... Tony O'Reilly as our next new employee. Thank you, thank you everyone. I will never leave this company. Chairman O'Reilly, uh, not a big deal or anything, but we have had some minor issues with the company's recent performance. Uh, so what, what, what should we do to fix that? I quit. President William, just the man I wanted to see. Uh, we need to release a new product. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. We, we do ketchup, right? Do something else with tomatoes? Hey, I need you to make a commercial for our new New York Deli Mayo. Ooh, I know. Uh, what if we feature two men kissing in the commercial, right? We show how, uh, you know, accepting we are, and then the people will eat that up. Hey, that's a great idea. We are so progressive. Okay, so we got about 200 complaints about the commercial, uh, could be a problem. Oh yeah, Americans hate gay people. Right, okay, so what do we do? I guess we'll just have to remove the commercial to save our business. Okay, now people are calling us homophobes and uh, they're boycotting our products and honestly I can't blame them. Darn! Has this affected our sales at all? Weirdly, no. 
Whoa! We're being bought out. You're finally free. Wait, really? Yeah, man. Get out of here. You've served this company well. <laughs> finally. Have fun, Warren. Oh, I will. As the CEO of McDonald's, we will no longer be offering Heinz ketchup in our stores. We'll proceed to use something different. Forty years! Does that mean nothing to you? You cut too many jobs in North America. We can't endorse you anymore. Oh. Oh, is that what I did wrong? I mean, I guess that wasn't the best idea. No, you know what? Screw you. I'd do it again. Hey there, Warren. We at Kraft would think it best if you let our companies merge. Well, I mean, I would get money. Ah, what the heck, what's the worst thing that could happen? I may have made a mistake.